the uh, history back with at and involvement in aiding and abetting the support of the government uh, to protect the nation has a rich history. The Army turned to Bell Laboratories. Leading in the development of radar was Bell Telephone Laboratories. Computers for the Nike X system were developed and tested at Bell Labs Whippany. Our logo stands for a quality uh, that I believe the company still strives for. AT&T is not just a telephone company anymore. We have a pride within government solutions, developing mission critical applications. We do everything here from network engineering, software development, systems engineering. Our workers are known to be the best within the industry, within the agency. Lots of opportunities for engaging in new technologies. They come out on top with just an unparalleled pursuit of greatness. We have the best employees in the industry. They range from many different backgrounds and many different positions. My name is uh, Mark Smith. I work at Public Sector Solutions and I am a Information System Security Officer. I deal with security related questions to requirements to encryption. Every day there is something different, every day. So it never, it never stops. I've worked in the military for 22 years, and when I got here, you know, I was kind of wild as far as what we do. I kind of see a lot of the innovations that we come up with. My name is Kevin Gwen, and I am a system architect doing cloud computing. In my short time at at and I've been given an opportunity to integrate a new microservice-based uh, capability to make a more high-performance system. Coming to at and you'll find it very engaging. You won't be bored. I'm Alex Massey, and I'm a software developer for at and Working part-time as a student and a developer, I've been handed off on a couple projects, doing web development, some IT support, and working on a team of like 15 plus people, putting together code, working in you know agile development environments where you know you're putting out a new release every five weeks. It's intense, but we make it happen. You know, they're very willing to embrace someone with not a whole lot of experience. That's really promising to me as someone coming fresh out of college, looking for a position, looking for a career. I was fortunate enough to have mentors and people that put me in places and trusted me. I've been here a long time, and the reason I stay here is because of the people. The people here are, you know, extraordinary. They're inspired, they're creative, intelligent, and passionate. Skilled. You can certainly uh, reach out and everyone supports each other. Just like being in the military, that honor, courage, and commitment. I mean, I have the same values that I left with the military, it's the same values that I carry here at at and if you can love what you're doing and get paid for it, and get decent benefits and recognition and opportunities for upward mobility and taking care of your family, it doesn't get any better than that. But if you can uh, do something that gives you psychic income from knowing that what you're performing and what you're doing is making a difference, that's the icing on the cake. Helping to keep the government run to me, I've already raised my family and they're on their own right now, but now I have grandchildren. I'm here supporting the whole next wave of my family and I feel proud of that every day. We get a great sense of accomplishment and take pride in supporting a mission bigger than just AT&T. We're helping to defend the nation. I would say that you would definitely want to consider working for AT&T. It's been the best career move for me personally. Well, we have a mission and we're trying to serve that mission and the payback that you get as a result of that is being able to see where your contribution make a difference. I would say the best person we could have here is someone who is motivated, who wants to do creative things, solve problems, and, and really take their career to the next level. So if you're an IT person and want to stay in the government spaces, take a look at AT&T.